Thunderfoot, I watched your video on Tolerance and the Ground Zero Mosque, and although you do make some, you know, pretty interesting points about Saudi Arabia and such, and like their treatment of religious freedom there and everything, the one part that you seem to miss though, like the one connection that you're missing, that I don't see you mention anywhere, is the connection between Saudi Arabia and Park 51, that Cordova house. Like, I don't see I don't see the connection. I look on the Wikipedia page. I don't see that the president or I, I don't see that the king of Saudi Arabia is funding it or endorsing it. I don't see any connection between Saudi Arabia directly and this proposed Park 51, 13 story glass and steel Islamic community center and mosque. Like, where is the connection exactly? Like, like. I could see people being mad if emissaries from Saudi Arabia were sent to Lower Manhattan to build a mosque in memory of the dead hijackers who they called, like, glorious heroes in Islam or something like that. See, if that were to happen, I could see a very good reason for why people would, would want to protest to it. Because if, if it was being built by, like, for that reason, then yeah, like, I would protest it too, but... I don't see that. Like, it looks just like any other community center, like a like like just like a Jewish community center or a Baha'i community center or a, a, a Christian community center. Like, what is the what is the big deal here? Like, are they going to have a big picture on the front of the building showing planes going into the nine like going into the World Trade Centers with like a big Allah is great written above it or something like? Like, I'm sure that certain terrorists in the world will see it as a victory, but they see, they can see anything as a victory. If we don't build it, they'll see it as a victory. If we do build it, we'll see it as, they'll see it as a victory. Like, it doesn't really matter. The, the whole fact that we're arguing and fighting over about it is probably seen to them as a victory. Like, you can spin anything. Like, watch Fox News for a day and a half, and you can see that almost anything can be, can be spun to accommodate your particular point of view and so you can't just you know like just because when you look at this community center you see it as a slap in the face to the I guess the 9-11 memory or anything like that it doesn't mean that's what it is just because you see it as offensive doesn't mean that it is offensive and ultimately you're right do they have the right definitely this is America so, I guess, I don't know, what's like, I guess, here's the question, what is the big deal? Like, other than just veiled hatred towards anything Islamic, what other grounds can you use to, I guess, to come up with any logical reason for why they shouldn't build it there? Are we going to pass a law specifically just for this one case? Like, I, I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it.